To remove the unexposed photoresist, develop the wafer by mixing one part photoresist developer with four parts deionized water. A pre-mixed developer is usually located near the fume hood. Under the fume hood, set up three bowls, one with the photoresist developer, one with deionized water, and leave the third empty for rinsing the wafer with distilled water. Developing usually takes between 1 minute and 1 minute 15 seconds for each wafer. Using tweezers, carefully place the wafer in the deionized water to remove the developer, then rinse in the third bowl with the distilled water. Once finished, dry the wafer carefully using compressed air. Remember to test the compressed air on your arm before aiming it at the wafer to ensure the right air pressure is used. Bake for 20 minutes at 110 degrees, then allow to cool. Corrosive chemical acids are used in wet etching. Gloves, safety glasses and closed-in shoes must be worn as contact with the chemicals may cause redness, pain and severe skin burns. Here we are using a gold etch for the gold layer on the wafer. The exposed photoresist protects the metal on the silicon wafer from being removed when etching. To etch a gold layer on a wafer, as shown in this example, three bowls are used one of gold etch, one of deionized water, and an empty bowl for rinsing. First carefully place the wafer in gold etch for about one minute. Then, rinse the wafer with the distilled water. Finally, using tweezers, Move the wafer to the deionized water to stop the etching process and remove any excess etching fluid. Thank you for your attention. If you have any further questions, please ask your laboratory supervisor.